Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. I do want to talk a little bit about Alabama though, Rob, because if you would have said before this game, again, as a four point, uh, as a four point favorite, you mentioned tied for first in, in, in the league, in the conference, and you just said only 13 from, from Dalton Connect, he's in foul trouble the whole game, and you still lose the game by seven. You'd have been massively disappointed. So just for Alabama, I, I look for me. I, I was, I came away very down on them. This was a game that was set up for them to win. All this, all the things broke right, and I know Nelson was in foul trouble, but I don't know in terms of teams that can go go, go deep in this tournament. The three point variance is just so wild with them, and it bit them tonight. Yeah, you know, I, I think that this is. To me, tonight was a sign of the coaching job that Nate Oates has done this season overall. Because if you look at this Alabama roster, it, it's not – like if you compare it to Tennessee's roster overall and you compare it to Kentucky's roster overall, you're probably not taking Alabama in any of those scenarios, right? Um, they have a bunch of up transfers from the mid-major ranks, and, and up transfers from the mid-major ranks can be great, but it's not like we're looking at an Alabama roster where you have a Herb Jones, where you have um, a Brandon Miller, where you have a bunch of guys that we know are going to end up being NBA players in the long term. We know that they don't have Charles Bediaco, which means that they're not going to be all that good defensively compared to what we thought that they could end up being. So um, I, I think that the fact that they are in the mix for an SEC regular season title says everything you need to know about the coaching job that Nate Lewis has done and the fact that they have more or less played above their heads for the majority of the season. And th this is kind of who they are, right? They are a team that is going to be, um, when they get hot, when the threes are going down, uh, when they are able to get up and down the floor and play at the pace that they want to play, they're going to be able to beat a lot of really, really good teams. But they are not a team that is built to be able to to win these grinded out games. You know, I, good I man. It's your favorite quote, right? It's it's what Nate said after the uh, the loss at Kentucky, and he basically said, uh, and I'm paraphrasing here, our guys don't want to play defense. And um, I I do think that uh, I don't think they were horrible tonight on the end of the floor, but um, I think it's just kind of a sign of what this Alabama team is in this current state. And and the fact that they are in a position to still make a run. I mean, look, they get, uh, they're at Florida on Tuesday. They get Arkansas at home. Like those are both games that in theory, they have a chance to win, right? You win both those games. Tennessee is at South Carolina. They get Kentucky at home, right? There's still a very real chance that we could look up on the last Saturday of the college basketball season. Alabama is a co-champion in the SEC regular season race. And I think that would be a phenomenal season for everything, con considering everything that happened in the offseason with Alabama and NATOs. Well, that, that's the thing. I mean, you look up at Alabama and you're like, they had a completely revamped team from players to mm -hmm. coaches, right? Mark Sears was kind of the one guy back that filled any sort of big role from last year. Look at the top teams, UConn. Now, I know they have a lot of new guys, but they also have three key guys back. Purdue has basically their entire team back. Houston has a bunch of key guys back. Tennessee, a bunch of key guys back. There, there's a blueprint here, right? There is a blueprint. Getting off to a good start, sustaining it. Alabama, obviously, like you said, it, listen, with Betty Ako, they're a completely different team. Mm -hmm. They didn't have rights also tonight. He's their best perimeter shooter. But I thought the kid Cosby came in, make a couple, you know, he made a couple big shots. Uh, but again, they yeah. miss him. Nelson was terrible. Stevenson isn't ready. They've got nothing down low that they can trust. Absolutely nothing. And that's why, honestly, Mark Sears is, is a second-team All-American, in my opinion, because he has absolutely carried a team that really doesn't have a ton around him. And he's done it quietly. We had him on the show the other night. He's just kind of an understated kid, uh, but he's done an incredible job this year, putting them in a situation where they're fighting and had a chance tonight to, to be in the driver's seat for an SEC regular season title. Yeah, I mean, all that's true. And it's also true that they were up nine in the second half, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. all that is still, you know, so I, again, I mean, yeah, to me, it's like you had an opportunity tonight uh, and you let it slip through. I mean, I, I, I guess I won't banish you to the depths of hell for losing to a really good Tennessee team, but it just kind of felt like that was one with Connect not really able to get going. <laughs> you know sure. that that uh that, that well, i mean they to... had a chance man like they they had a they chance and they let the chance go they had a chance yeah. and they let but the how they've been playing over their head all year john 
Have well, they been playing and, over their head all year? That's, I think, what we're trying to say here is well, no, I mean, and, and, yeah, yeah, and you're and you're right, and you're right. I, that roster is is you don't look at that roster and think, oh man, this this team was built to go, you know, win the SEC championship and go to the Elite Eight. You don't think that, but again, you're up nine, like find a way. But uh, yeah. you know, that's college basketball, and I also think Tennessee is good, which leads us to thank you for watching the Field of sixty eight. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here. Hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field 68 content.